hi there and welcome back to my videos well the lady that we will talk today is a quite famous lady you know is what they call her the the mass record breaker 917 042 it was the martini the mass porsche racing in 1971 crew was a uh, vehicle for Ranger La Russe and uh, the model that I built up here it was the long tail version of the 917 you know that in my opinion is probably the nicest 917 well actually I like all the 917 of course but uh, this uh, specific version is just available uh, in uh, resin or uh, not in a plastic conventional kit you know everybody of us have the Fujimi models, pretty decent, you know, uh, nice box to, to to build up and have fun, you know. Instead, this long version is just available as a racing kit made by Fisher model pattern, you know, Paul Fisher made excellent shapes of model. They were uh, really, really, really well done, you know, the casting was perfect and everything was absolutely stunning, you know. Of course, this is not an original Fisher. This is what this is, I guess, a kind of low-level copy, surely because it. I, I have some original from Paul, and um, uh, the cast is absolutely better this than this that I get. But back in time, I didn't know how to find this model. I didn't know that he simply had a, a website. And he was the producer of this model, so I was starting to search around in uh, eBay and so on, and I cross in this. Uh, I think it was a, a rolling chassis made for uh, slot racing purposes, you know, uh, made in very, very uh, ugly racing, you know, casted very, very badly, so it is absolutely not the quality that uh, you can find in the original Fisher model, you know, that now I know that they were available before the problem that he had with the fire in California, so I hope that uh, he's doing well because it will be a great loss if he cannot produce any longer the models, you know, and all the communities, uh, activated to help him in any way so if he need masters and stuff to go on and stuff to uh, restuff it's just enough that he he say something and everybody is here for him great guy really and this model that anyway he made like a master because of course the, the master is just his one uh, it was very very well done and the, the shape is absolutely well taken you know 917 is quite um, tricky and complicated car to do in this version because the all the rear part, uh, the rear hatch is much longer than the Kurtz type and uh, of course the, the, the stuff that I get at the time had no decals, it was just exclusively the, the resin body, you know, there is the resin body shell, I also paid quite big money for that crap and I had to find the decal, you know, the proper decal and I took them from, uh, I guess it was Le Mans Miniature, the one making the decal for this uh, uh, version and I was so so really happy that I can find the decals and I have the the, the 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 body because what I wanted to have it was the shape of the Porsche. I didn't want to make a full open uh, model with the hatch and doors and so on. Uh, no, I just wanted to see the shape of the 917 uh, long tail. And the decal were for me very very cool to 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 use and to find, except to the point that the quality was absolutely crap also about the decal. So. I had to repaint nearly completely all the lines that you see in the Martini library because the original decal completely uh, disintegrated just touching the water. I just saved part of the blue stripes here, the, 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 the light blue stri stripes, and uh, the Martini on the roof that gave me some problem because it got wrinkled also, and some of the number and few writings, you know, but the main uh, library had to be painted because what I get in the original. Uh, decal sheet was absolutely impossible to use. I think that the reason of this was just uh, simply because uh, they probably sold me an old uh, decal um, completely dry and printed uh, I don't know many decades ago so the quality was absolutely not at the level. Uh, despite the colors were uh, really spotted it was a uh, very very nice looking decal sheet but my my example was absolutely uh, terrible to work with you know and uh, what uh, i simply made in this model was just to give a decent finishing you know we are talking of a car of the 70s so you cannot go completely straight candy glossy like many do uh, uh, because it looks so perfect so it was just an ordinary glossy use uh, always the gx100 from gunze that in my opinion is one of the best ever around to keep the the the, the, the glossy cars you know 
and uh, I scratch build the interior. The interior is very uh, simple, you know, because you just basically have the seat with seat belts and the dash. Uh, I think the dash that I have down there is coming from a scrap at 917 from Union Eller or something like that, you know. And also the wheels were coming from that model. Uh, the wheels were also specifically with some decals just for this car, you know. This was one of the two versions of the le long tail 917. There was this one and the EP car that was slightly different in the front end. Also the EP car have been made by uh, Fisher model pattern and so you can find probably uh, that model around the searching under his name, you know. And uh, I think it's a really, really uh, high-catching uh, shape, you know. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the easy result that I get from this model, you know. Uh, if I want to build up a proper 917 long tail, of course, I will also use the a Model Factory Hero stuff and so on. But uh, I like so much to see the shapes of this car that I don't want to have. For now, I mean, I don't want to have the idea to make them in the completely open uh, condition, you know. And so that's it. It's, I uh, think, pretty cool. The color seal uh, is really well taken. The car was really an icon from the 70s and an icon from Le Mans, from that era. And uh, that's it. That's it, guys. I like it a lot. I hope you also do. And uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.